Tuesday Night Volleyball action is right here on Tommy Moon Sports. Who else is ready? I know for a fact that I, for one, am very ready. Students are still trying to make their way here. Not the world's largest one. Not going to be as large as what you're going to see this Friday night for spoiler or a shellacking against Cuyahoga Falls, but... Greater than nothing, that's how I look at it as. Number eight, Dakota Drent, the senior, ready to serve this. We're just about ready to get this baby started. And it starts with Elena. And watch out for Spike Count gets it. Number three, Jesse Coffee right there. And here comes the spike and it hits the net. Who's serving? Elena serving. Not who's serving. Well, quite a large house right here tonight, folks. I know that I, for one, am not complaining about it. Watch out for the spike. It goes over. Elena hits it over. Now over Grace. And now Julia. Just before she hits the ground, they get it. And now number 16, Georgia Stenger. Hit it over. Have ourselves a rally in the rally. Not gonna die just yet. Watch out! That was off target. Maddie wasn't in position for it. We are tied at one. 16, the five foot eight sophomore Georgia Stenger. Stenger gets it over. Catherine and now Joy wants to go. That one in the air. Gonna be not the easiest thing in the world as it spiked over. Setting it in the air, and Maddie tips it over, and right in the corner, how about that? How about that? Count is out. Oops, guardrail, right there. Very sorry to serve this. That one goes over and all oh, down to the ground. I think 15 Kalyangas had something to do with that. Yes, she did. Makes it over. Watch out, they spike it. St. Catherine, third grace, 16 Julia. That one goes in the air. Here they go, they're probably going to spike it. Hit by Catherine, and now this won't be the easiest thing in the world, but it fortunately going to go over. And now the spike. And a good job there by Anna Freeman. The ball rolls all the way to where the trash can is. Anna Freeman responsible for that. Number 10, Willie Watchtower. And speaking of Willie Watchtower, she is serving on this. Game oh, good job there by Grace Sagan. The four can go out and we touch the net. Pretty obvious violation right there of some net touching. 3-3 three, three against the mighty foe, the Revere Minutemen. Only saves it before it can hit the ground and Julia hits it over. Oh, that catches us off guard, but Catherine did a good job. Oh, Kelly steals that one, and Kelly blocks it. It's still in the air, but the point goes to the minute man. Watch Tower ready to serve this. Watch Tower hits it over. Catherine, here comes the spike from Maddie. It's blocked, and it's blocked the second time. Number 11, Presley Baker. Morgan Pearsall has to come in for the good guys. And for Callie. And of course, she did a good job, so she'll obviously get some, uh, what do you call it, recognition. Watch Tower again serves it to her. You know, he gets off to Catherine, gets off to Joyce Spike. Final reply. Oh, Megan and Simona check in. I think Megan and Catherine are going to sit on down. Will they sit on down? I 
Yeah, four and for six, 11 and for 10. There we go. Here we go. Megan Ray to serve this. Megan gets it off. That one is high in the air. There it goes. And now they're going to try to spike it. And nice effort by Morgan, but it died right in front of her. What is it? Four six. That's bad. Jackie Randall ready to serve this. Right hand, right arm killing me. <laughs> Catherine makes it over. Here comes a spike. Enjoy it. Good job. That one hand. Oh, a great catch. Joya did that. That was all Joya. Five six. Crowd screaming it. Oh, it's tied up. Head off number four, Annabelle Yost. Julia Shaw ready to do this thing again. And uh-oh, they're going to have to get that one close. Floats it over. Now Megan, and now Spike by Lane Lane keeps it in the air and keeps it over. That one is going to go right through Simona. Coach Munger going to have to talk things over. Makes it over. Elena sets up to Megan. He's going to get it back to Elena. Oh, that was just a nice hit. 7-7. Seven, seven. Speaking of sevens, Don Rex is in. And Zay Smith also in. So they're going to serve this in a 7-7 seven, seven game. Makes it over. And here we go, ready to spike this hit. It's going to go right to Sydney. It's going to hit it over to Megan. Who's going to hit this one? Julia from downtown. Good job there by Coffee. Now look out the spike. It hits the net. Watch Tawa hit the net. 8 7. So I need to do this again. Coffee hits it in the air. Here comes a spike off the net and onto the floor. 8-8 eight, eight, your score. Looks like Grace is checking back in. How about that? Jesse Coffee, the junior, ready to serve it. 8-8 eight to eight, your score. Good job there by Elena. Over to Megan. Elena floats it over. A diving save by number eight, the coach red. Here they go. And Elena lets it fly and Coffee cut it to a thing. Elena was all over that one. And a 9 8 score. Maddie and Catherine are going to be in for Simona and Megan. Just like how they were, just like how Simona and Megan were in for Maddie and Catherine. Speaking of Catherine, she's serving. It's 9 8. Coffee hits it in the air. Number one, that's Randall. Good save there by Grace. Oh boy, some miscommunication. And it hits the net. Point to the minute man. Oh, that's unfortunate. Number eight, that's Dakota Drenth ready to serve this. We'll see what Dakota Drenth has in stock. All well, students like to try to get her off a rhythm as that's by the way to see a, a good catch. There's Evan. Evan's taking pictures for yearbook. Evan's a cool guy, just like Gabe is who is right there. Of course Gabe the PA announcer. Elena hits it over. And they're gonna try to do something at hit. Hits the net. Always Revere hit the net. Elena to serve once more. 11 on. 
Oh, I have to admit it, a great crowd here for the Hornets as we pack the house. Hits it over, a way to you can't throw, look how it hurts. It stays in the air and hits the net. Jesse Coffey couldn't do a thing. Revere's head coach, Dana Dutch, gonna, Dana Dutch is gonna take a timeout. We'll be back. Well, the Indian season may be over for those that are watching on Tommy Murray Sports, but at least there's a wild card game, Boston, New York. My dad's a Yankees fan and so is my little brother. I don't have a dad and I don't have a brother. And I'm sad about that, 12-10. Well, Atlanta did a good job, but couldn't make it over. Happens to the best of us. Georgia Stenger ready to serve this. And Stenger gets it off to Grace, who gets it off to Catherine, who gets it off to May. It's blocked. It's twice. Looks so like a substitution was made. Chris to serve, the senior. Hits it over. That one isn't going to be easy. Now they're going to have to let this one fly, and fly they do. Catherine, and now, ooh, block. Nice try by Morgan, but couldn't be done. Well, some substitutions being made. Number 10, Willie Watch Talent. Number 11, Presley Baker are in. Watch Talent in a 13 11 contest. Gives it off to Maddie. It's blocked and inbounds, unfortunately. Well, the ref said that she touched it. Watch Tower ready. And this one going to go up and old float. And they hit it. I don't know about that. Now they have to hit it hard. And now Grace gets it over to Catherine. And gets it over to Julia Straw. Incoming. And incoming indeed. Oh my goodness. They keep it alive. Julia spikes it. Revere still keeping it alive. And a diving save right there. Zoyne is going to hit it over. Revere now with a chance to attack and attack. They will not do because Maddie got it over. We have ourselves a rally, folks. And the rally stays alive. How about this? Still going. The spike. And every good thing has to end, apparently. We're contesting that it went out of bounds. Crowd can test that that one went out. Couldn't see that well from the camera. Nonetheless, watch Tower serving it. And nobody was there. Time out. We'll return. We'll see what Coach Munger and McDermott had in plan. Of course, they are great coaches. Pretty sure most of you all knew that by now, as I always say. 14-13, but unfortunately the leader is Revere. Elena hits it over to Catherine, who gets it off, and that one's floated over, but Revere all over. Here comes the spike, it's tipped. Elena gets it off to Catherine, who's gonna get it off and spike, and it's tied. Megan Simona looked very happy. I, I'd be happy too, because I, uh, you'd be checking in the game. I'd be even happier if you're Megan because you get to serve and showcase everyone who's watching on Time Room Sports what you can do as a server. That one hit high in the air by Coffee and the spike by Randall. Good save by Morgan. And now Megan and Julia floats it over. And that one was obviously inbound. Well, I was expecting a larger student section tonight, but you know what? Why should I complain? Count your blessings. Greater than nothing. That one goes high up in the air. And watch out for the spike. It's blocked. How about that? A block by both 
Morgan Atzimara teaming up right there to say no. And no way. The score reads 16-14. That one makes it over. Number six, Sam Freeman got it, and that one is spiked to the ground. There's the volleyball rolling, and now Grace picks it up and she'll roll it right to Revere. Jackie Randall, five foot eight junior. Right to serve this. In a 16-15 ball game. Megan. Now Simona lets it go. Coffee right there. Randall and the spike. Good save by Oena. Oena over to Megan who floats it in for a point. Make it 17-15. Hopefully Evan's getting some good pictures. I think he is. Julia Ray to serve. Oh, that one won't be easy nearing the bench right there as number six Freeman got it. Julia, Megan, and oh, wait oh, with the spike. Looks like Julia gonna serve this ball once again. That one makes it over. And here they go, ready to spike this. Good save by Julia. And now Wayne will watch it fly. And oh, save by Revere. Won't be easy here. It goes over. Grace got it. And now here we go. That one is out of bounds. Number 16, that's Georgia Stenger. Stenger, excuse me. Anna Freeman. Freeman wants to go. She's six foot one. Yes, here it goes over. Coffee gets it up in the air. And now the spike attempted. That one went out of bounds. Oh boy, if that one was inbounds and rolled by the ref, I would have said no. Because it was pretty obvious and obviously clear. And it was out of bounds. Any serving, by the way. We'll see what the sophomore can do here. Got it over, that's what she'll do. Oh no, it's off the basketball net, but it works out perhaps for Revere. Nope, it was out of bounds, doesn't work out for them. 20 to 16. Timeout. Well, I would break away from the action, but why not? Or why, why, why do so, is what I said. Because the Hornets have been doing pretty fine out here. 20 to 16, and for those that are unaware, we have one loss so far in the Amer or in the regular season. Undefeated in the American Conference, folks. As you can tell, that American Conference, if I can find the banner up, it's right there. You you're pretty sure, pretty obvious that 21 is gonna be right there sooner than later. And my goodness, Revere breaks up. We'll see what they do. It's a six on six. And we're ready to break. <laughs> Third section singing. They're still singing. <laughs> Here we go. Cindy ready to serve this in a 2016 game. Jesse Coffey got that. And there goes Spike it. And Megan's a little too short. But she's still great at volleyball. Revere is out of timeout. Wow, how about that? Grace is in, Simone is in. Talk about a quick break. Morgan out, Cindy out. Talk about a quick time being in. Jesse Coffey. I don't know what happened there. I think the ball was rolling towards the court. It tried to get her off her rhythm. But she's still there as Elena Tacita did a good job right there. Well, Maddie and Catherine are going to be in. Of course, we mentioned Yankees play Red Sox. You probably know who won 
by the time you watch this video. Well, I'm going to probably pick Yankees. Probably because the Yankees have been doing really well and my little brother and dad can be happy. Catherine hits it over. Here comes the setup as the spike is. Out of bounds! 22-17. My dad was an Indians fan, but now he roots for the Yankees and the Mets and the Brewers and the Dodgers. So he has three of his favorite teams in the playoffs and I have zero of mine and my little brother has his favorite team in the playoffs because of course. Meanwhile, they're talking. I'm pretty sure that ball went out. Couldn't tell, but they are going to be talking about it. Point goes to us as Grace goes back, and so does number eight, Dakota Drent. Catherine hits it. Coffee with a sliding stop. And Revere touched the net, I believe. 23 17. Catherine ready, hits it over. Good job right there, here comes the step, and it's floated over. A diving save by Catherine, but the diving save went flying back. 23-18, we're two points away from winning the first set out of this best of five. Dakota Drent is ready. Drent gets it over. And all good saves there by Catherine's Mag, the left-hander. Had a little too much. Drent to serve again. We'll see if we're going to burn that last time out or not. Drent got it over to Elena. He gets it off to Maddie. And now Elena hit the net. 23-20, it's like a football score. Keep in mind, you need 25 to win. Then they serve, we'll see if Coach Meinger is going to use one of her timeouts. Chris gets it, and now here we go. The spike by Elena, and it is right there for you, folks. 24-20, speaking of Elena Tessina, Elena Tessina is going to serve. Joe got the ball right there. This is a game point. And it goes over. Hit in the air. They'll spike it. And right in between Colin and Maddie. 24-21. Stenger ready to serve this. Let's see what Georgia Stenger does. Grace got it. Now Catherine going to send it off to Maddie who hits it right in between them. Oh, some miscommunication out there. And she must have thought that there were only two hits because that was the third one. And now we're up one set to nothing. We'll be back. 